Hollywood. Make of make believe, land of broken promises, Lotus Land, Cinderella City, Tinseltown, Hollywood, Hollywood weaver of fantasies, the dream factory hub of the entertainment universe. Hollywood that lures young hopefuls from town and village, factory and farm, all seeking the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. For some, the dream is realized. For others, their hopes and aspirations are shattered on the shoals of despair. But still, they come. Behold them, dewy-eyed, innocent, vulnerable. A flood of femininity, a deluge of daintiness. Will they soar to stardom, find a permanent niche in the Hollywood heaven? Or like the moth and the flame, plunge like a meteor into the abyss of oblivion? What does fate hold in store for them? What is their destiny? Let us seek the answer through the eyes of one of these young hopefuls as we follow her quest of the impossible dream. A young hopeful like Mooch. Watch out, Hollywood, la da dee. Mooch has come here to stay. This town won't be the same again. Others may never quite succeed. Mooch will stay. She's a whole different breed. Best of class. No pedigree Mooch has a dream Dreaming of stardom To make it big in Hollywood A facelift too Before she's through Mooch is here Mooch is here Mooch, darling, this is Jaja. I can see you're new in this city, so let me give you some advice. If you want to make a career for yourself in Hollywood, I will tell you what not to do, what to do, and when to do it. This is no good for you. Keep your fur on, Mooch. Ask Vicky, he'll tell you. No nudes is good nudes. And now you have come to what is really class. Look down at the famous names, written here in cement. They will last forever. In the old days, they had the great premieres. It was exciting. All the stars getting out of their limousines, walking on the red carpet to the microphone. It's a marvelous picture, simply marvelous. Now, wait a minute. It's a marvelous picture. Mooch, that is a good luck statue. Why don't you make a wish? Oh, I know this producer. He's holding a story conference. Hollywood baby. Talent has like nothing to do with it, you know? Acting don't even matter. It's who you know in this town. And it's who you see with it count. Who you see with it count. Who don't you... take her advice. It's not who you are seen with. It's who you are marrying. That's what counts. To make a career, darling, you must go where the producers, directors, and the money men are. Like there. Good girl. Mo 
but you're wasting your time. Get into the Brown Derby. Don't be discouraged. Try the back door. You do like the script, right? Yes, as I told you, I like everything about the script except the end. But the boys will fix it. Look, look, end. darling, there is someone to be seen with. It's Vincent Price. It's really Vincent Price. Quick, be charming, tempt him, tease him. Hunt him. Try tantalizing. Arthur does all my talking for me, Sam. Be sexy. Fabulous. You do like the contract, Fred. I told you, I like everything about the... You know, we got a whole crew standing by. You and Sam, thanks for lunch. Talk to you. I'll call you tonight, Vincent. Hey, Armel. Thank you. Kiss his ear. <laughs> See, darling, it's always work. Well, now that we've been formally introduced, Shaggy, you might as well sit up front with me. Congratulations. You've made it. Oh, I'm afraid he's broke. Look at his car. Poor Vince. Mooch is here. Proud and all aglow. Wondering where. Where, oh, where will they go? Hate town. You've opened up your door Going to a movie studio Going to play that Hollywood game She'll even have her own analyst Mooch has a dream She's on her way now Better watch out Hollywood When Mooch rides by the boy dog's side Mooch is here Mooch is here Mooch is here Bever Pet Clinic Oh, this is marvelous! He's starting to invest money in you already. Let's face it. Every girl needs a little fixing up before she becomes a star. And darling, you need your teeth capped desperately. Hello, I'm Mr. Price. This is Shaggy. Is uh, Dr. Hackett free? Yes, Mr. Price. If you will just be seated, I'll tell him you're here. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha! 
doctor will see you now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Doctor, Mr. Price is here. Well, I'll be right with you, Mr. Price. Yes, look at this. It's just as I suspected. The canary has an ulcer. And what's the problem here? Well, Doctor, I was having lunch at the Derby, and he <laughs> went somehow or other, this kooky little mutt. Uh, nurse, prepare the patient for examination. You know, I, I don't know how, but, well, she got into the car, and in a second or so, she was sitting right in the front seat next to me. Name and patient, please. Oh. Well, I call her Shaggy. Next of kin? Well, I guess it's me. You got papers on this dog? Oh, no. No, as I said, uh, I was just leaving the derby when she turned up. This could get you in a lot of trouble. Trouble? But she's just a nameless little mutt. Look, Doctor, the reason I brought her here is that, well, I have a kid who's, who's writing me a lot of fan letters, and he is just dying to have a dog. Oh, I was reading in the medical journal about a case similar to this. A man picked up a dog who was an alien in the country illegally. Wound up in a lot of litigation. Finally took his house away. Is that how the canary got an ulcer? Huh? Well, look, Doctor, all I want you to do is just examine her and make sure that she's all right. And I'll send the boy around to pick her up in the morning. Hmm? Oh, it's all right, honey. It's all right. You're going to have a good home. Look, uh, look, I'll come and visit you now. How's that? Huh? Oh, now take it easy, sweetheart. Take it easy. I, I love you, but I can't keep you. No, now, now, you be a good girl, and I'll come see you real soon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bye-bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye, <laughs> come on. Nurse, give me a hand there. Val, that's a man for you, darling. One moment of promises, ecstasy, then thrown away like a broken toy. Don't be sad. I stay with you. Remember, it's who you are seeing with that can't. <laughs> That was for Fang. Everybody loves somebody sometime. Why don't you take your little fur coat off and come on in? Look, it's a famous Playboy Club. I can tell you a lot of young girls have been discovered here, even for pictures. Oh, that's a bunny. Go in, Mooch. What have you got to lose? Oh, poor baby. It always helps to change your type when you have been rejected. It's good for the morale.
darling, stay rejected. Whatever you have in mind, I must tell you the terrible news. There are very few parts for a four-legged strippers. Keep it on, keep it on. Oh, now we are getting lucky again. There's a handsome one for you. It's James Darren. It's really James Darren. <laughs> I think I know what type he falls for. Nothing sexy. Be sweet, demure. Look what happened to Grace Kelly. She got herself a prince. More like Grace. to go back to be sexy. You must get his attention. <laughs> Clever mooch. I couldn't have thought of it myself. What happened to you? Oh. oh, you weren't hit. You're just scared, that's all. <laughs> that's a good girl. Hey, does this dog belong to anybody here? No tags. Looks like you don't belong to anybody, do you? Huh? Let's see if you can stand up. You want to try that? Come on, sweetheart. That's a good girl. You know what, sunshine? I was just about to head for the beach. You feel like going for a ride? Compromise him. He'll never get out of this. Keep an eye on his dog for me. Hey, you be a good girl, you hear? I'll be right back. He'll be back. Make yourself beautiful. Get a nice tan.
see blondes have all the fun. <laughs> Not always. Don't walk like a schlump, honey. There's producers all along this beach. Why, three girls have been discovered here already this summer. Here is an opportunity. Go with them. Wiggle like they are wiggling. You pose too. I wouldn't want to make it in Hollywood like that anyway. Hmm. What goes on here? Oh, I bet he doesn't have enough money to buy a hot dog. You're wasting your time. You bet off as a skinny producer. Oh, darling, you're hopeless. Hey, sunshine, did you miss me? <laughs> Gone Hollywood already, huh? Hey, if you take those off, we'll go for a little walk along the beach. Don't panic. I know you were here once before, but that's our little secret. Don't fight it. Be casual. When you're in the waiting room, flirt, flirt. Be nice to nurses. And if the doctor says he knows you, give him a cold nose. Hi, I'm Mr. Darren. Is Dr. Hackett in? Oh, yes, Mr. Darren. If you'll please be seated, I'll tell the doctor you're here. Thank you.
I hate my gloves. Congratulations. You must be very proud. Mr. Baron, Dr. Hackett will see you now. You say the temperature is normal? Good. Good. Now she's to have no solids, plenty of liquids, that's very important, and rest, lots of rest. I guarantee if you do that, she'll be back on her perch singing better than ever. Dr. Hackett, Mr. Darren. Oh, oh yes. Hi, oh, Doc. Uh, what's the problem here? I found this dog this morning while I was down at the garage, and she just kind of attached herself. Uh, nurse, prepare the patient for examination. She's a great dog. You know, I, I uh, took her down to the beach, and we spent the whole day together. Uh, name of patient, please. Oh, um, Sunshine. Next of Ken? Well, I, uh, I guess me. I've seen this dog someplace before. I never forget a muzzle. Dog I'm referring to was brought in yesterday. Very sullen beast. Morose, neurotic. Oh, no, that, that couldn't be Sunshine. She's one of the happiest dogs I've ever seen. Well, she looks pretty familiar to me. Of course, I wouldn't testify to it under oath. <laughs> I remember a classmate made that mistake. Very famous case involving two St. Bernards. Even the casks were identical. Picked the wrong one, ended his career, took to drink. Horrible. Yeah. Well, uh, look, I was wondering, Doc, could I leave the dog here for a couple of weeks? You do take boarders, don't you? No, yeah, yeah. We have excellent facilities, round-the-clock care. Nurse, send for the attendant. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, sweetheart, don't take it so hard. Listen, hey. I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Uh, attendant, uh, take this patient to wing five, please. Yes, sir. You be a good girl, you hear? And I'll be back to get you just as soon as I'm through with the picture. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take care, Doc. Thank you very much. No, it's a pleasure. Bye-bye. leave you here. This is terrible. It's like the last mile.
Mean old man. be yours, darling, if you can just get into that studio. That's it. This is where you really belong.
Mooch, go in there. This is Jill St. John's dressing room. And that's really Jill St. John. She advises you, listen. But remember, she's also a woman, and you are competition. Hey, little dog, what are you doing in here? Come on, oh, out. Come don't, on. Don't send her away. Now, you stay right where you are, princess. You know, Mr. Albert, you mustn't be too hasty about these things. Mm. She could be a contract player. They're always discovering new talent, you know. Are you talented, darling? Well, she is. What did I tell you? She's probably even got her own series. Really? I'll only be a few minutes, darling, and then you can have the chair. Oh, really? Uh, don't think it's presumptuous of me, darling, but I think since you're new to the business, I should give you a little advice. Let's see your profile. Other side. That's it. That is your good side. Remind the cameraman. And be sure to tell him no close-ups after four o'clock. Really? Oh, and the eyes. The eyes mirror the emotions. Now, I know you have great inner depth, but the audience doesn't. Now, I suggest shading the lids with blue liner. Right, Mr. Albert? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Miss St. John, ready on the set. Coming! You'll have to excuse me, Princess. I'm due back on the set. But we'll continue this fascinating conversation some other time. Mm, dinner, cocktails, call me. Oh, and uh, good luck with your series, dear. Oh, really? They come and they go. Could use a shampoo. You're beautiful, if I do say so myself. Diamond smooch, at last. Now you look like a star. Yes, it's Jim Bacchus. By George, it's Jim Bacchus. Signboards are a blight on the landscape. Welcome to San Clemente. A New Year's Eve party. <laughs> Get out the paper hats. Champagne, my dear. I even like the corks. Pow! Wow! <laughs> well, hello there, my dear. Oh, you're a beautiful little girl. You're all gussied up, too. Hey, whose dog is this? Anybody own this dog? Well, you just wandered in, is that it? Hey, I'm doing a guest shot. And we need a dog that looks just like you. Would you like to be on television, honey, huh? Would you? Well, now. You're in show business. The star might break a leg. We'll dance our way into their hearts. Made it big. 
big in Hollywood, you're a star of that hustle paid off. You're number one, you're top dog now. Get it on, Mooch. Lap it on up now. And you can hear your public say it was your style that drove them wild. Mooch is here. Darling, you made it. It's fantastic. In such a short time, look at the career you made. Oh, the Bavaria Clinic. People are all here. Oh, where did you get this haunted mob? This is Mrs. Magoo. Mrs. Magoo? Oh, she's darling. You know the TV special I'm doing with the DOG? I want to show her to the producer. A great idea. And you know, the casting office is right inside. And as for you, I get 10% of the bone. Gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, he <laughs> Well, Davy. Here he is. Eddie! <laughs> well, Jim, at this party, you're really putting on the dog. Oh, Davey, you can do better than that. <laughs> See, I told you they were all here. Oh, you finally got him here, huh? Yes, but not alone. <laughs> She's adorable. So are you, Kathy. Oh, Jim. <laughs> Daisy. Hello, hello. I want you to say hello to Mrs. Magoo. Encantado, preciosa, encantado. Hey, Rosie! <laughs> how, how are you? Yeah. Meet Mrs. Magoo. Oh, then here, have a potato chip. Oh, come on. Oh, Forget it for a minute. All right. Listen, hey, I've got Jerry. Hey, you're the guy I want to see. Eddie, who's your friend? You know that TV special we're going to do together? Yeah. For the comedy spot, huh? Hey, she got any talent? Any talent? Watch her. A little audition, baby. There you go. <laughs> She's terrific. You know something? That dog will go far. Don't forget, I'm her agent. Hey, Perry. Remember, remember, it's who you are seen with that can. I think a cigar would look better in his face, don't you see? It would go with it. Oh, great deal like you, then. Oh, it does. Yes, it does, it doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, it does. Well, look at our Good little push way. down here. Says, are you interested in R2? <laughs> Well, hello there. Oh, gee, how are you? Isn't she beautiful? No, no, I adore him. Look at that long hey, eyes. Hey, incidentally, They're never mind her. Yeah? Welcome back to Hollywood. Thank you. Say goodnight, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Yeah, By far, don't you? Well, it's a longer and habit. You do well, it all the time. Didn't I meet you in a beauty parlor? The world is yours. Mooch, this is what I had in mind for you all the time. Fame, fortune. Oh, there's Vincent Price. And James Darlin and Jill St. John's. They recognize you all is lost. It's shaggy. Hey, that's sunshine. Well, hello, princess. Don't just stand there. Hide. They will know you're only a mutt. Shaggy. I remember. That's shaggy. sunshine. Why the oh, princess. little princess. I know it's Mrs. Magoo. Sir, she fooled me. What are you doing here? That's how I never forget a muscle. And look at that little girl. She rode all the way out Sunset Boulevard. She did. Yeah, she Came along, and I could see That's the dog I found at the garage. He fooled me. I thought you were a star. You just a little came in and crashed upon party I know that's the dog. Acting so 
so close to the impossible dream. Mush, don't give up. Let's make one more try. I know this is not why you came to Hollywood, but darling, don't be sad. Show business isn't everything, and this will last much longer. This is Richard Burton saying, farewell, Mooch, wherever you are.